Well, hello again from Kingston. It's been quite a busy week here on the third crossing, aren't they all? Let's go and look at uh, what's been happening. Please remember, like if you do, and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. There's absolutely no question this week about the most important topic. On Thursday morning, supported by a convoy of concrete trucks and a concrete pumping machine, the Gomaco concrete layer finally made its mark on the project. The machine is commanded by a single operator, but many more are required to make the whole process work. It's very much a team effort with strict quality control on the concrete, its management on the deck, and the actual operation of the machine itself. But the day saw significant progress. Note that the concrete to assist curing must be kept wetted during the process. It's worth recognising too how quickly all those hours spent in preparing the rebar are concealed beneath the concrete layer. Much time was also spent earlier in the week in cleaning and preparing the deck to ensure adhesion for the concrete. And in the last shot, you might also have noticed that the dedicated workers from Armatour Boisfron continue to install rebar and to prepare it. It's an enormous enterprise. And it's entirely appropriate that this week they had an opportunity to show off their company logo and to display their work to a group of visitors. You can find information about ABF and many of the other great Canadian companies that are involved in the project in the description below the video. Elsewhere atop the deck, survey work was taking place, critical to the success of the whole enterprise. What you don't know can hurt you. And on the steel structure, since the temporary supports were removed and some settling is anticipated, surveyors had to accurately measure the degree of that settling. With the steel structure complete, a great deal of effort is now going into completing the concrete section of the bridge. And full section's worth of concrete slabs arrived this week. At the west abutment, where spoil is being removed and gravel infill is being delivered to provide the backfill for the abutment, a crew has also been busy preparing the ground for what will be a green wall of living vegetation. Looking further along the bridge, five more concrete girders arrived this week. Two on Tuesday, which were installed on Wednesday, and three more on Thursday, installed early on Friday morning. The girders installed on Wednesday completed section 15 of the bridge. For anyone who's counting, these were girders number 74 and 75. With girders 76 to 78, starting section 16 on Friday. Before we end the discussion on girders, I thought you might like to see what the uh, concrete delivery trucks look like when they depart empty. That brings us to the steel structure. We mentioned the survey work earlier, but work also continued on placing the small steel studs on top of the girders. There was another milestone marked with the departure on a trailer of the steel temporary crossbeams which had supported the bridge. And much more significantly, in a move that perhaps signals the departure of the iron workers and the completion of their work, the cabins which they've been inhabiting were loaded onto a trailer and removed on Friday. Nearby on the eastern shore, the work we saw to prepare Pier 21 last week came to fruition with the delivery of concrete for the pier cap. This is the last pier to be worked on, and by Friday, 
they were already placing the forms for the uh, pedestals on which the girders will sit. Behind and beyond Pier 21, the east abutment is slowly filling with rebar and the second stage, the second vertical stage, is growing all the time. All in all, it's a fairly busy scene on the East End. And of course, it's over here that all the work is being done to prepare the roadway to the intersection at Highway 15. It's a very busy scene with lots of moving parts, but every effort is being made to maintain access to the library. Please, just be patient. Before we go to the wildlife this week, I want everybody to know that the weather isn't always sunny and pleasant on the causeway. This was the scene early on Wednesday morning. Well, that's another week in the bag, and uh, we'll keep you up to date. Be sure to subscribe for notifications, and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.